Guys, I wasn't actually going to do a video today, but I want to talk about uh, the Dell and no screen issue that has been going on and it's been plaguing me. I bought over 200 of these units, trying to get them ready for my customers, and I noticed something happening so far on the 7th gen i7s, and that is when I open it and turn it on, sometimes I get it ain't coming on. Sometimes it, it, it just flickered so I can see the Dell thing here. But if I tip it sideways, you guys see that? Lay it back down. What? Tip it sideways. Okay, that is weird. Lay it down. So what we're going to do, first I need to tip it sideways and Get it back in Windows and shut it down safely so it's not on. This could be an easy fix or a bad one. It's weird. Why, if I tip it sideways, is it actually turning everything on, including the backlight of the keyboard? But the minute I lay it down, nothing. Now, if you plug it into the TV screen, it actually outputs. So I've already loosened the screws here because, well, I'm trying to make it a, an easy or quick video for everybody. So here we are, we're inside and it's pretty simple. Uh, you guys will know all the screws are, any screw that's on this, including the center one, just remember the center one so you don't bend your lid. Um, they stay in and the, the, the panel literally lifts off and just lift off from the back to the front. Okay. So here we are. Now we're inside this notebook. The video's right here, and there's a weird click thing there. But what I'm gonna do, because it's weird that when I tip it sideways, unless it's getting hooked here. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take off the screw for the brace that's supposed to hold down the video. At least you would think it's supposed to hold down the video. So far, it's not coming off. There we go. All right. Okay. So this actually has nothing to do with a click. So I thought there was a weird click thing, but it's actually this. All right. So what I want to do here now is I want to unhook this and make sure that it's actually in all the way. Wow, that came off way too easy. So on this model, which is a 7480 and a 7490, they're identical. They just pull off. It's not a slide out. Um, I find it very interesting that it came off as easy as it did. Now what I'm going to do, I want to make sure there's no fraying and that could be a thing, but to just tip it just a little and for it to activate, I still find that really, really weird. So now I'm going to just put this back on. It's on. So now we're going to go back to the notebook. Now I've done all this without unplugging the power. I would highly recommend uh, you unplug your power right here, just so you got no power going to it in case you cross something. I'm pretty used to doing this and even I should take that pointer, but you know how it is. A technician never listens to his own advice. So I've turned it on and it's still doing it. So now I'm going to press and Okay, so apparently it is working now. When I tap, nothing's happening. And I'm gonna say it didn't. It's like there's a tweak, but it's not, look. Now it's out again. 
cap. As long as I don't bump it. So I'm going to shut it down one more time. I'm going to put something in between this and this to give it a little more pressure. And I want to see if that takes care of the issue. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to test my theory with a bit of paper. Paper is a non worry item. And I just want to see if I fold it up a few times to give it that, you know, um, uh, thickness. Will it solve the problem? It's almost like the video or, or this connector almost seems like it in a weird way lifted. So let's put this back in here, put that like that. Now this is just a theory right now. If it works, cool. If it don't, we'll move on. I want to know, is it the culprit? Maybe I need to put that on first. Okay, now it's on. Get this back in there. Now if this works, this could save your laptop a lot, especially uh, a big repair. I mean, who wants to be doing that? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna try and get this in and pull that paper down. Make sure my wire's out of the way. Okay. There is no more play here. It actually looks kind of nice. Doesn't look like I did something. <laughs> All right. Bottom line is, does it work? Back over we go. Moment of truth. No. I'm not gonna lie, that is extremely frustrating. So it isn't this. I'm going to just tighten things up a bit, make sure that nothing is so far nothing. And it, it, nothing is loose. This is the weird part. So now we're going, now that I tighten those screws, we're just going to shut down. I'm just going to remove the RAM, put the RAM back in just to be safe. And fire it back up one more time and see if actually just tightening screws that seemed a little well everything this thing just seems loose like just there's no <laughs> tightness feel to the whole machine so maybe it's just tightening the motherboard who knows all right if your screen was going black you are not going to believe this okay hit power nothing Tip it up, power. Now, put it back down, no power. Pick it back up, power. Put it back down, still on. It was detecting the magnet in the sensor or for the, the screen off from this unit and that was underneath this whole time. Tippy, good, tippy, good. Who would have known? So the lesson here, guys, if you have, and I've seen the video too, uh, if you have a wristband on and it has a magnet or anything, and you go near that, you're gonna shut your screen off. If you have, now, normally I stack a bunch of laptops, like five high, when I'm loading them for a order for a customer. And this was the same case, but I couldn't figure out why they kept shutting down. Now, I'll try it again with my 7590, and I'll put across the screen here whether the 70, uh, the 7490, sorry, does the same thing or not. But I remember stacking them and not having the issue. So guys, the whole time, there was nothing wrong with the laptop. Learning curve. 
Anyway, something for you guys to, uh, to ponder if you are definitely a person like me where you load multiple machines at a time and you put it on top of another laptop and you're wondering why the screen keeps giving up, but except for when you bend it a little, now you know. Till next time, guys, game over. I hope I... <laughs>